Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Gone, and our scripture is Revelation, chapter 18, where the Apostle John writes about God's judgment. Then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of a huge millstone. He threw it into the ocean and shouted, Just like this, the great city Babylon will be thrown down with violence and will never be found again. The sound of harps, singers, flutes, and trumpets will never be heard in you again. No craftsmen and no trades will ever be found in you again. The sound of the mill will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The happy voices of brides and grooms will never be heard in you again. For your merchants were the greatest in the world, and you deceived the nations with your sorceries. In your streets flowed the blood of the prophets and of God's holy people, and the blood of people slaughtered all over the world. Babylon is more than a once great city, dynasty, or nation. Rather, its legacy is that of what happens to any self-aggrandizing person or group that opposes God. Ancient Babylon, located near Baghdad in modern Iraq, as a cultural center 4,000 years ago, lasted about 30 centuries. In Daniel and 2 Kings, we find Nebuchadnezzar, a ruthless, wicked man who conquered Jerusalem more than once and who destroyed Solomon's temple. He presented himself as the true divine above all humans or their gods. Daniel, a humble Jew taken from his homeland to serve Nebuchadnezzar as a slave, interpreted dreams for the king. Daniel told him the one true God of all would humble the king, and it happened immediately. Nebuchadnezzar wandered the hills and surrounding areas of Babylon for seven years as a wild beast eating grass. When he finally came to his senses, because God restored him, he gave honor and glory to Daniel's God. Today's passage is one of many in Revelation that's used to describe the end times when God's judgment will be poured out on earth. Babylon is an accurate symbol of sorts for all who opposed God in this life. In a single name, the aged apostle John records the undoing of humankind's evil of all time and the recreating of God's paradise. When the judgment comes, portrayed as a huge boulder thrown down from heaven, Babylon, the mighty conqueror of all men, is simply dismissed no more, gone. While there's a great deal of mystery and wonder around biblical prophecy, there's also a much greater value in the warning which it offers. Jesus, in detailing for his disciples some of the circumstances which mark the time when God's judgment would be imminent, tells us that it's fruitless to spend our time trying to create a timeline or set a date for when this will happen. Jesus said it will happen, and our best response to that is to be ready whenever it happens. Mark chapter 13, where Jesus tells his disciples, Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows, and since you don't know when that time will come, be on guard. Stay alert. For you today, it would be simple to look around, particularly at the events happening in Jerusalem and Gaza these weary war-torn days. There's more than enough evidence of what Jesus warned would precede his next advent, but scripture doesn't change. We don't know it's now but we don't know it isn't. So today, whatever happens, don't wander around like Nebuchadnezzar eating grass. Start your day feasting on God's word and give him all the glory. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.